नमस्ते एवरी वन ऐम बासवी अंड वेलकम टू मई यूट्यूब चानल ऐम अ वाटर कलर एंथूजियास्ट अंड अंजोर पेटिंग आर्टिस्ट दिस इज अ स्माल वीडियो ऑफ हाउ ई अरे मई पैलेट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनी पेटिंग सो दिस इज अ पैलेट ऐ नॉर्मली यूज टू पेट वाटर कलर्स दिस पैलेट हेज ऑल द कलर्स विच ई हैड बैक दिन वेन ई मेड दिस वेन ई फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड विथ वाटर कलर्स ई हैड अ बेसिक सेट फ्रॉम कैमलिन एंड ब्रूस I just mentioned the brand names here in the bracket so that they will be helpful for the future reference. So coming to the palette, uh, this was an empty box like this. I sticked all the half empty pans to the palette first, and then took all the colors and filled it so that I can even use uh, when I travel. A very similar box, which is almost the size of the one which I'm already using, and I'll be. Uh, making a palette using full pans this time so that the colors are limited and uh, the bristles of the brush do not get damaged so now coming uh, to the number of colors there are so many colors here and uh, there are only some which i frequently use so i've decided to take up a challenge now i'll be limiting myself with uh, some colors like a very important colors which i normally use These are all the colors which I'll be adding to the palette for now. These are the pans I've uh, recently bought from Hindustan Trading Company. Let me check how many pans can I fit in this box. For this palette, I've used a double-sided tape and I've sticked it. to the palette directly this method has worked very well for me not even a single color or a single pan for i had this glue drops with me for a very long time now so i thought of giving it a try and i've tried it i think so these will work better than uh, double side tape and uh, this will make process little more easier After sticking all the pans to the palette now I'm squeezing out all the colors which I've selected So here I've filled all the colors which I've picked till now Uh, my aim was to pick two colors from every shade, like two colors from yellow, two colors from blue, two colors from red. So here, in the last row, I filled indigo, paints gray, and burnt sienna. These are the browns and uh, dark shades which I use for now. I also use burnt amber and raw amber in some cases, but I've not added uh, here. Now let us make a swatch sheet to stick over the lid. Now the sheet is ready. Let us write down all the colors which we have filled until now. Pen from Brustro. It's water based and water resistant, so it will not bleed when we apply color over it. After writing down the names, I just waited for some two to three minutes for the ink to get dried. Now let us go ahead and. swatch all the color so 
so here i've made the swatches of all the colors i filled until now and all the others are kept white i'll add these swatches once i add extra colors in this but for now i'll continue with this so the difference between this one and this one is here i went with a pure wash but here i've tried to uh, get a tonal value like like the darkest tone to the lightest tone possible so that way we have an idea of what color we are picking and what water consistency would give us the shade of color which we are looking for once the paints are dried let us go ahead and uh, stick this swatch card onto the lid of our newly prepared watercolor palette now here i'm using uh, same glue drops stick as many glue drops as possible so that the paper doesn't come out Palette is ready to use for watercolor painting. 